once you're in, in the zone, when you're doing service, you forget about anything and you're just focusing on making something perfect or as best as you can. And that, it's, it's thrilling to me to uh, be like, so concentrated that you, you forget about the world, you forget about the pain, you forget about anything. And at the end of the day, it's so rewarding seeing that all the customers are very happy and that's the best part about this job. Basically, the food scene is not amazing over there. It's great, but it's good, but it's not amazing. It's not, uh, it's not international level. I didn't start loving um, the, the food industry until I came to Canada. So my parents wanted a better education for the kids. So when I came here about the age of uh, grade eight age, I came here, I went to high school here, and after high school, I just wanted a summer job. So I took a summer job at Tapenheim Bistro in Stevenson. It's a small French bistro. And I, I was just a dishwasher there. And slowly, I fell in love with the hecticness and the busy, the, the, the environment of the kitchen. Under the wings of Alex Tong, uh, the head chef back then at Tapenheim Bistro, I learned a lot through him. He mentored me and then now he's like my very good friend, mentor. Um, so that's how, how I fell in love with this industry. And after high school, after, after Tapinad, I went to Chopino, uh, secret location, and Che Christophe. Che Christophe, this is where I learned the most in uh, pastries because it's a, it's a Swiss bakery. So over there, I was a sous chef for three years, and slowly uh, my skills was polished in in, pastry, in the pastry um, techniques. So I felt I I stumbled. I, it's really I just stumbled into uh, this industry by by mistake, let's say, because I wasn't. I didn't want. I didn't know about food that much. I didn't care about about it so much. But it's the I got I had passion in, in it because I love the, the 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 kitchen working in the kitchen and I like touching food and I like seeing customers happy. So this is um, what pushed me to be a pastry chef. At Origo, I because I'm French, I'm born in French Guyana and I have a French background and I have been taught by uh, French uh, people in in this industry. So I'm French taught. Uh, the techniques are French, but I want to bring that the pastries uh, of, of France into an Asian community. So I need to tweak it a little bit. I need to change it. I need to make it more light, less sweet, and but still like the, with the French, uh, keeping the French uh, tradition and the, the mind behind each pastries. So flavor has to be very strong, but very light and and very um, delicate. I already go. I make this uh, matcha mochi cream puff. The result, it's uh, it's light, creamy, uh, and very uh, loved by this community, the Asian people. And also, for example, I have this flan, this tart, this uh, flan. It's a it's a French pastry with a pâte brisée on the outside, crispy, light, with a very creamy cheese center. This is something that uh, I loved eating when I was a kid. Uh, it's a it's a French pastry, but I added. Uh, touch of lightness to it 
or if it is coming to the end, who doesn't like cheesecake? But cheesecake is always very, very heavy and very dense. So I married it with this flan, which is super light, super creamy in the center, but with a very flaky tart shells. So this is the type of uh, pastries that we make at Origo. I get my inspiration from uh, traveling. When I travel around the world, for example, when I go to Japan or when I go to Italy, when I go to France, the food that I eat at these uh, places around the world gives me inspiration. When I, when I taste something, I try to recreate here with that memory and, and I try to uh, put my twist in it as well. So traveling is my um, place for inspiration. I think the, I think Vancouver does well in choosing the very specialized ingredients. Bakers in town does really well about choosing the right ingredients for the health for health conscious. We we know that wheat uh, is an issue nowadays because they have a lot of uh, uh, pesticide in it when growing the, these wheats and GMO uh, wheat stocks. But in Vancouver, we have all of these bakers that are very conscious about this, and they would go to find uh, specific like farms, smaller farms, uh, smaller growers that have uh, very good ingredients, very great um, flowers, and use that in their baking. It's a lot more work because you have to you have to go directly to the, to the farmers. You have to uh, it's more money because it's a smaller farms. But Vancouver has the ability to, to use these ingredients and I think that's really great. I think where Vancouver needs to work on is um, we are still, we are always a step behind the bigger cities like Tokyo, New York, Hong Kong. We are, because these cities are more, there's a lot more population and there's a lot more competition between the, the, ba the bakeries and they try to innovate all the time. I think Vancouver needs to learn from that. We need to we need to keep pushing ourselves to create uh, things that are that haven't been done before. Uh, but keeping all the the main the base like perfect. Like uh, we do really well in making things wholesome and very delicious. But we need to now. I think we need to push the boundaries a little bit more. I think the most exciting um, place to be right now for food and pastries in general, I would say it's in Japan, Tokyo, because it's, we all know that the Japanese are perfectionist and they take, they have French techniques and they turn it, they use it and then they, they hone it, they make it their own and then they perfect it. And I think being in Japan, being uh, in Asia, you have all these great, uh, exotic food, exotic uh, ingredients, and you, they have the hands, Japanese people have the hand for all of these uh, great ingredients, and they have the, the resources, the technique, the brain to make it, uh, to elevate the, the, the pastries. So I think right now in Asia in general, it's the best place to be for food.